Broome is a beach resort town in Western Australia's Kimberley region. Along its Indian Ocean coastline, the white sands of 22 km long Cable Beach offer a dramatic backdrop for sunset camel rides. <clears throat> At Ganholm Point nearby, dinosaur tracks are revealed in the beach's red rocks during low tide. Broome being close to the desert affects the intenseness of the hot climate and the red rocks continuing through to Broome to meet the sea. The Great Sandy Desert is located in the northwest of Western Australia beside both the Pilbara and Southern Kimberley regions. It is the second largest desert in Australia at 284,993 square kilometers. The Gibson Desert is to the south and the Tanami Desert is east of the Great Sandy Desert. Sunset camel rides are popular along Cable Beach. Gazed upon from the drinkers at the Cable Beach Bar upon the hill, the camels are an extraordinary sight, to see the outline of a string of camels in front of the backdrop of a stunning sunset over the Indian Ocean. There are two types of camels, Arabian Camel, Dromedary, and Bactrian Camel. The Dromedary Camels have one hump and are the ones found in Broome. They live to about 25 years old in the wild, but domestic camels can live up to 40 years old. These animals can grow to 7 feet at the hump and weigh 1,600 pounds. Their hump stores fat which can be broken down into energy when food is scarce. They hardly sweat, so they don't require much water. The domestic ones will drink around 25 liters a day, but a thirsty camel can drink 115 liters in 13 minutes. Unlike most animals, when walking, the camel moves both feet on one side of its body, then both feet on the other. Camels were introduced from India and Afghanistan into Australia in the 19th century to help with transport and workloads. Muslim cameliers were brought into service to South Australian outback and soon began their own businesses importing and running camel trains. It is estimated that around 15,000 camels were imported into Australia at that time. The handlers were known as Afghans or Gans, to which the train, the Gan, gets its name. After the arrival of motorized transport, camels weren't required and so were released into the wild. Here they thrived, and today Australia has the largest population of feral camels in the world. This has become a problem for outback communities where they destroy fences and pipes and drink the water holes dry. The government funded a culling program that killed around 160,000 camels from 2009 to 2013. So you could say that these camel ride companies are saving the camels from death. I'm not a supporter of animal tourism when the animals suffer. However, I think these are well looked after, they are fed, watered, there is a weight limit for passengers, and they only work two to three times a day. The dinosaur footprints around Broome, Rubabai, are recognized as the most significant in the world with trackways stretching for about 80 kilometers along Broome's sandstone coastline from south of Broome up along the Dampier Peninsula. <clears throat> These were laid down during the early Cretaceous period, some 120 million years ago. There are potentially over 20 different types of tracks, those of theropods, three-toed carnivorous dinosaurs that walked on two legs, sauropods, massive, long-necked four-legged herbivores and others. Gantholm Point is a promontory about six kilometers from Broome, Western Australia. It was named on July 24, 1801 for Honoré Joseph Antoine Gantholm, by Nicolas Baudin during the Baudin expedition to Australia. This was a French expedition to map the coast of Australia, then known as New Holland. The Ganholm Point Beach area adjoins Cable Beach and is a popular meeting place on the weekend for locals and visitors to launch boats, or spend the day relaxing, swimming and enjoying a cold drink at sunset with family and friends. Ganholm Point Beach is also a departure point for Broome's kayak tours, fishing charters, whale watching tours and extended cruises. At Ganholm Point Cliffs and Lighthouse, take the well-worn track past the interpretive signage to reach the cast of dinosaur footprints, always a popular attraction with children. The real dinosaur footprints, over 130 million years old and preserved in reef rock can be seen at very low tide at the bottom of the cliff. 
At Ganholm Point nature is at its finest and for photographers it is absolute eye candy. The sun spills across the red craggy cliffs altering the colors of the Broom Peninsula before settling on the ocean for a spectacular sunset. The Malcolm Douglas Crocodile Park has some of the largest crocodiles in Australia set amongst large Kimberley lakes. The park is home to many species of Australiana including dingoes, cassowaries, many species of bird as well as five species of crocodiles and alligators. Get up close and personal with over 2,500 crocodiles at the Malcolm Douglas Crocodile Park in Broome. Douglas, an Australian wildlife documentary filmmaker, dedicated his later life to crocodile preservation. See some of the largest crocodiles on display in Australia on this guided tour. Learn about the animals who call Kimberley in Western Australia their home.